Because it's how I can raise up ordinary men, turning them to become supernatural beings, financial persons, making life better, bringing people from the dungeon of sin, bringing them into the faith, planting their feet, and rising them. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! When you say a man of God is fake because you got to him and he prayed for you and you did not receive, you are also fake because you do not even believe in the first place. So fake is calling fake, fake. Because you have to believe. Your belief alone, the woman with the issue of blood, said Jesus I don't need you to speak to me I don't need you to pray for me I just want to touch the aim of the garment if I can touch my faith tells me that I shall be made whole I don't need you to prophesy I don't need you to touch me on the head I just want to touch the garment I don't care what they say about you Jesus I don't care how they criticize you I don't care how they don't want to see your face but I know there's something about you and she touched the garment and Jesus said somebody touch me who touched me for virtue has come out of me hey 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 when God is silent, when God is silent, man has offended him, man has doubted him, man has said God can do it, and God's greatest pain is for man to doubt his capability, to doubt his ability. He said, Once have I spoken, twice have they heard that all power belong to me. I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything that is impossible for me to do? God is asking you, is there anything? Is there anything? Do you think I can give you baby? Do you think you can buy a house? Do you think you can be rich? Do you think you can go up? Do you think you cannot be here? God said, is there anything? I am looking for that thing that I cannot do by the breath of my nursery. I parted the Red Sea. I walked upon the earth. I extended my stool to the earth. I am Omini Science. I am Omini Presence. I am Jehovah. I am El Shaddai. I am the ancient of this. I am, I am that I am. I am the only constant God. I am the unchangeable changer. I am the one who is the Alpha. Who is the Omega. Beside me, there is no other God. I am a jealous God. I am not the son of man that I should repent. I am not a liar. When I say it, when I not do it, I am able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what you have asked. God forbid that I know this God and go to look for help where there is no help. God forbid that 
I know this powerful God. I put talisman in my pocket. That's why I stand here. I say, if I buy any juju, do what God is doing here. Let him strike me here and kill me now. But if I do it by the power of God, we will change level. We will move from glory to glory. We move from glory to glory. Shut fire. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, God is silent concerning me because he has a plan for me. He will not leave me to die. The silence is for my good. Shut fire! Hey, 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 that devil is a bastard. God punished the devil and his grandfathers. They think it is finished. It is not finished for you. You are coming back with a star. You are coming back with a star. You are returning with power. too heavy when God is silent <laughs> ah. when God is silent <laughs> it might look like sickness want to eat you up but tell you sister you are not going to die <laughs> when God is silent bro it might look as if the enemy is winning but can I tell you something the, the devil is not winning it is a strategy to make you come back gallantly mm. 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 okay second reason why God is silent it is to give you an every signal that you are in sin Whenever you are in sin of any type, God becomes silent. Hmm. Sin makes God to be silent. God cannot behold sin. Like what happened, he backed the son. Because of the sin of the whole world was on Jesus. So he backed him. So he kept silent. No wonder he cried out. Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani, my father, my father, why have thou forsaken me? So there is a time that comes when the sin of the whole world came upon the son. The father could not behold the son. And the father backed him. And the son cried out. Why? I'm not the sinner. I am just a lamp of sacrifice. How much more when you become the perpetrator of that sin? That is why God becomes silent. How will God not be silent when today in the church there is the, the, the strength packing to gay marriage? How will God not be silent when brother and brother can enter the sanctuary of God and be joined in the church? How will God not be silent? How will God not be silent when pastors can pay one another, give ayahs as in money to kill another pastor? How will God not be silent? How will God 
not be silent when ladies can sleep with animals. How will God not be silent? How will God not be silent? When pastors can go to look for power from another source and climb the altar and pretend that they are of God and deceive the flock, how will God not be silent? Even the very elect shall be deceived. How will God not be silent when the church is divided? When the church is fighting against one another? When we are supposed to own each other hand and run in the battle? But now we call each other names. Wrong pastor, fake pastor, fake apostle, fake this, fake that. We climb our altars and preach one another rather than preaching Jesus. How will God not be silent? with God not be silent when preachers have become politicians when they amass wealth like politicians and never help the widows the orphans and never help the helpless when the church is becoming poor and the preachers are buying houses in all the nations all over the world it is not bad but when it becomes too much it becomes greed and there's no difference between us and the politician when, how will God not be silent when orphans in the church cannot be given free scholarship by rich pastors and yet they say they love God how can you love God and the orphans in the church are not giving free scholarship and are archies are sponsoring orphans in the church how will God not be silent halajis are carrying our brothers in the church giving them free scholarship and the pastors are rich and they cannot give free scholarship in the name of principles principles that does not condone with the principles of Jesus Christ why will God not be silent when in the last days men shall be ungrateful and unthankful when people are helped and they in turn bite the finger that help them how will God not be silent how will God not be silent when we are sick we go to native doctor house and collect something in calabash and we drop it at home and come to the church and we clamp our hands and say oh Lord we bless you and God look at you and say hypocrite you have gone to look for another God and today you are coming because you are neither hot nor cold I will spill you out of my mouth how will God not be silent how will God not be silent God is silent because of the sin he can't behold sin he can't behold sin How will God not be silent when preachers are too busy to train their children? Most pastors' children are smokers, harlots, and wayward. Why? What has gone wrong with the Eli generation? Where is Eli? The children were offering abominations, abominable sacrifice in the altar. God had to take the priesthood from Eli and transfer it to Samuel. Why? Because there is abomination in the altar. How will God not be silent? When preachers are taking alcohol before they climb the altar. How will God not be silent? How? How? How will God not be silent? My heart bleeds because the heavens is silent. How will God not be silent when members come to church and they look for a way to rubbish their pastor? How will God not be silent when somebody comes to church and is looking for a way to pull the man of God down? To set 
him up to discredit his credibility. How will God not be silent when Christian ladies are paid by other people to come and set up pastors in the church in the name of money? Why are the mighty falling and the weapons of war perishing? How will God not be silent when people can no longer work for God for free? Where everybody wants to work for God and attach economical values, we prize the work of God now. We no longer want to work for God. We claim that we are working for God, but what is under we want mutual benefits <sighs> what a broad topic God is silent for the number of ladies you have broken their heart as a young man deceive them propose them collect their money collect their car, dump them, run away, look for another one, propose, dump them, and you belong to a church. God is silent about you. For the amount of men of God you have criticized, and you don't know them, you have not seen them, you have never encountered them, but you just wish to run your mouth anyhow. That is why God is silent about you. Number three, God is silent to train our faith. Whenever God is silent, it's to train our faith. God is silent to train our faith. Number four. God is silent to make us distinguish between his voice and the voice of a stranger. Hear this. Once have I spoken. Twice we did hear. Each time God say, my daughter, don't do this. He will not repeat it again. It will re-echo. So when you are hearing other voice, other voice will be many, but you will be still because he has spoken once. He can't repeat himself again. When you meet so-called prophets and they are always prophesying to you every time you appear before them, there is something mechanical about that prophetic gift because our God does not speak any hour. Somebody came to meet me one day. He said, man of God, prophesy to me. And I said, it is well with you. He said, no, prophesy to me. And I said, he has not spoken. Why should I say? He said, but they say you are a major prophet. I said, I'm major because he is major. But for now, he has decided to be quiet and I am quiet. He looked at me, looked at me. He said, say something. I said, say what? I say, say what? Say what I am not asked to say. You want me to go to hellfire because you need prophecy. <laughs> Some people don't understand this. If you understand what it means to say, God says the Lord, you will not say it when God has not spoken. <laughs> that is why so many people are parrot as prophets. And yet, none of their word come to pass. And some will speak once. And when they speak, the nation will shake. Why? Because the Lord has spoken and not a man. <laughs> a true call prophet utters the mind of God not his mind and cannot be moved by the desire of mere mortal to 
bring out things that pertain spiritual issues under mechanical pretense. Because somebody desires to receive prophecy. So you prophesy. No, he does not speak that way. If he has a word for you, he will say. Some of you have gone to so many places because you need prophecy. And you have been, they have prophesied to you and prophet lied to you. That is why you are almost dead. You, you were entering the place, you are smiling. But when you are coming out, you carry one, one bag or ten bags of cement on your head. Why? Because they have given you what you want. Don't be a prophecy, prophecy seeker, but a God seeker. Sometimes when you appear before a true prophet of God, and he says it is well, it is actually well. You think there is a problem, but God does not see that problem that you imagine that it is your own, that it is your own. We are not to prophesy your art desire. We are to prophesy God's desire. So the problem with most of you, you imagine a thing that it is your problem and when you get to a prophet and he does not tell you what you imagine, you feel that he has not hit the nail on the head. So you look for the one who appeals. There are people that are prophetic gisters. You go to them, they gist you. They make you feel iry. They say, you see now, it is pounded yam that is pounded yam is rolling around you. It is turning. It is moving from your smaller intestine to the large intestine. That is what you want. To be pampered like bomboy. God is too big to, to begin to play Maradona with you. When he say it is well, it is well. Give Jesus a clamp of friend. Mm. Okay. Mm. How do we respond when God is silent? How do you respond? How do we respond? An average believer. How do we respond when God is silent? Number one, we become discouraged. We say, God does not love us. He does not love me. That's why. Number two. We are disappointed when God is silent. We become disappointed. Don't you see? Look at how God has disappointed me. That is how we respond to the silent or the silence of God. Number three, we become confused that we look for help where there is no help. Why are we going to look for other help from other places? It is because we are confused. We feel that God has abandoned us. And this is it. I have preached here on the trial of our faith. That no faith becomes absolute faith until the faith is tried. And when your faith is tried, you graduate. And you go to the next level. That's why you see our faith exploit differs from one another. Most of us become confused. The way we respond to God when God is silent, we look for help. And that's why in this service, I want to pray for all those who have gone to native doctor, they are giving you black soap, they are giving you this. We need to drop them. We need to, we need to burn them so that you can move on God's side. Why will you come to God and ask God for deliverance when you are still having the property of the devil in your house? How do we respond when God is silent? We backslide. Have you seen a lot of people who are backslide? Hey, there's no God. I, I, I have gone all over the whole place. I've gone to that church. I've gone to that church. I've gone to that church. There's no God. Mio, I know there is God. He is alive. He is alive. He is alive. 
Look at brother Joshua Igela. I am a true evidence that God is alive. When you look at what God has done in my life under this six years going to seven years, you know that God is alive. Give Jesus a clown buffer. What what does God expect from us when he's silent? That means God expects something from us when he's silent. Number one, we should put our trust in him that he cannot fail us. When God is silent, put your trust in God. That he can't fail you. Number two, God expects us, when he is silent, if you are confused, to ask him why. Matthew 27 verse 46, Mark 15 verse 34, how do I know God wants us to ask him why? Jesus asks, my father, my father, why have thou forsaken me? That means, anytime he's silent, we can ask. We can ask. He would speak to us, either through the scripture, or through his messenger, or through the preaching of a servant of God, like what he's doing now. Number three, God expects us to respect that he has right to be silent when he wants to be silent at us. God expects us to respect him that he has the right to be silent when he wants to be silent. He has the right. He's the Alpha and Omega. He said, I don't want to talk now. I don't want to answer you now. And so what? He has the right. So respect that right. We talk about fundamental human right, isn't it? There is also fundamental divine right. God has divine right to be silent when he wants to be silent. So, there are angels who are spiritual activists that are advocating for God that you don't have right to question him too much over his silence. Are you ready to pray? There was a time in my life when I thought God has forsaken me. I prayed. I fasted. I cried before God. I went to the mountains. I asked God to change my level a little bit in ministry. I never prayed to have a car. I never prayed to live a big life. I prayed for God to give me a little auditorium where I can hold the mic and preach to people and bless life. It was difficult for me to have a place called a place of worship. I used a room. I was chased out. I used a bakery. I was chased out. I used a primary school. I was chased out. Before I came here, I started another sequence of battle. And I asked God, God, why are you silent? I will go to program. I will see how God will open the eyes of the blind. Raise the cripple from the wheelchair. But yet, when it comes to issue of provision, he's silent. Do you know what God told me one day? After I've gone to this height, I was having my quiet time. He said, son, if I had given you death, these things you have now, then you would have died before your time. I wanted you to learn patience, humility, love, and how to give to the helpless. I wanted you to know that you are not what you are your strength and intelligence and made you who you are 
that is why I can never boast of who I am. I'm simply a brand of God. What my journey of patience and the dark era of my life in ministry when God was silent has taught me is to make me know God is ever faithful. Now, whatever he say, he will do. That if he promise you a thing, that delay is not denial. That it will surely come to pass. It will come to pass. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 20 to 20, 21 to 25. It will come to pass. I'm rounding up. When God was silent with me, I thought he had thrown me one side. When God was silent with me, I thought, I might not lift up my head, but I discover that when God is silent, it means action. When God is silent, secret coup is taking place when God is silent there is an emergency meeting concerning you when God is silent is busy killing your enemy one after the other when God is silent is fighting your enemies from behind when God is silent. My hand I had a hido had a yada. He wants your Pharaoh to die before he expose you. Jesus was taken out of Bethlehem into Egypt and God hid him there. Why? God made him to be silent so that the Pharaoh that sought to kill him should die. Silent does not connote failure. It is working a divine plan. I am not an abandoned project. I am a project of God that must be finished. I am not. I am not an abandoned project. I am a project of God that is made to be finished. I am a project that the world can stop. I am a divine project. You see this building, which is Brother Joshua. You see Champion Royal Assembly. It is a divine project. I cannot stop halfway. God is not an architect that will stop halfway. God is not a federal republic of Nigeria. It's not a federal, federal government that will do a project and stop and another government will come. He is an existing God. He is not a God that will transfer your light project into the hands of another. He is not important. He is, has the ability. I am a divine project. I cannot be abandoned. The silence of God it means he's working out for we know that all things work together for them that are called according to the purpose of God. Are you ready to pray? Mm. I cannot be abandoned. I cannot be abandoned. I am a divine project. You see me? I cannot be abandoned. My father may abandon me. Your mother may abandon you. Your company may abandon you. Your husband may abandon you. But I can tell you, you cannot be abandoned by Jehovah.